Hi, my name is John. Yesterday a friend asked me what is a good way to hide and show objects in Unity. There are different ways to do this, so let's go into Unity and see how it can be done. Here I made a simple scene with a cube and a ground plane. To make it more interesting, I added a rigid body and a bouncy material to the cube, so when we hit play, the cube will fall down to the ground, bounce around and come to rest on the ground. I want to be able to turn on and off the visibility of this cube in-game. There are different ways to do that. In the inspector, you can enable or disable the cube. You can also enable or disable the mesh render. You will notice if we disable the mesh render, in our scene view on the left, there's still a green outline, a wireframe outline of the cube. But in the game view, the cube has disappeared. To be able to turn the visibility of this cube on and off, we are going to have to write a short script. You could make it invisible by disabling the entire object, but if you do that, it will disable all components and child game objects that object has. And you probably don't want to do that. Let's right click and select Create C Sharp Script. I'm going to call it Toggle Render. Double click it to open it up in your development environment. The default script starts with the start and the update method. We don't need these, so simply delete them. Let's create a method called Toggle Visibility. It's a public method and it doesn't return anything, so we will use void. Toggle visibility and doesn't need any parameters. Firstly, we will reference the render, which is a um, component of the object that we will be turning on and off. So, we'll create a render and call it rend for short and assign to game object dot get component and it will be the render component there don't forget to put the braces at the end and now let's toggle it on and off so we need a conditional statement if rend is enabled, then we are going to disable it. So rend dot enabled equals false. Otherwise, we are going to enable it. Rend dot enabled equals true, and that's it save your script and return to Unity. In Unity, let's drag the script onto the object that we want to toggle. Now if I select the cube, you can see in the inspector that the toggle render script is a component of it. Now we're going to need some way to trigger it. In our case, let's do it with a button. So, in our hierarchy, I'm going to create a UI button. I'm going to switch my scene view to 2D view so that I can see my button clearly. And I'm going to drag my button somewhere to a corner here. And expanding it, I want to change the text to something like Toggle Visibility. All right then. Select the button and let's add a, an on-click event. Click the little plus sign to add an event and we need to add an object to it. So the object that has the script is our cube. So I will select the cube and for the function go down to toggle render toggle visibility. Now when we play the scene you can use the button to toggle the visibility of the cube on and off. 
When we play it again, I will toggle it while it's falling so that you can see that it still exists and it's still active. It's only the visibility that's being turned on and off. This is useful, for example, if in your game you would like to turn certain clothing of your character on and off or certain weapons that they are holding. It's generally better than enabling or disabling the object itself, because when you do that, the child objects will also get disabled as well as any components of that object. However, if you disable or enable the mesh render, it will not affect any other scripts or child objects. Thanks for watching, and if you have any other requests, please let me know. I'm planning to put more tips and tricks into this channel, and I hope that you will benefit from them. Bye-bye.